Katrina Anderson, Yolanda Moffat Santiago, and Katrina Russell. They're three of the 75 domestic related deaths that happened in central Indiana over a two year span. Yeah, domestic violence is a pervasive issue. And so we need to talk about this issue, get it out in the open and stop having it be behind closed doors and a shameful issue. Kelly McBride with the Domestic Violence Network says this study, which focused on Marion County and the eight surrounding counties, found that in 2018 and 2019, domestic violence service providers like the Julian Center took more than 28,000 calls, often outweighing their capacity. The two-year period also saw more than 7,500 arrests for domestic violence not counting the many cases that go unreported. Having a report of 7,527 arrests in two-year time period, that just kind of skims the surface of what actually is happening. With those numbers in mind, this study calls for three changes. First, an increase in funding to domestic violence service providers at the state and local levels. What we do know is that there's just not enough funding to support the need. McBride also believes a renewed enforcement of current gun laws for domestic violence offenders and improving school curriculum for teenagers could change the culture that leads to violence. So if we want to get in front of this issue, this very pervasive issue, we need to start with education and what a healthy relationship looks like. We need to have healthy um, households. That's where it starts. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.